you know, there's always one figure in the house that it, it's like if Abby's down or I'm down or we're in a bad mood, everybody's in a bad mood. Like we just <laughs> set the tone for the house, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. joyful, grumpy, edgy, yeah. like walking on eggshells, whatever it is. And it just trickles to everybody else mm. in the house. And you are, you are now the solo sounding board for mm. them. And so I Again, it's just one of the most beautiful gifts, like Abby was saying, that you can instill in them is this joy. And the only, the not the only way, the best way to give that to them is simply being it, embodying yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, okay. And again, of course you have your bad moments. Of course you have your bad days. <laughs> um, but it's not like you know, you've been in this, this funk and bad mood in, in pity for years and kids, but I need you to be happy. Like you're living it, you're acting it, you're embodying it. So that's, what's rubbing off to your children. And I just think, man, that is like, that moves me. You know, when I'm going through stuff, nothing compared to what you have, I'm thinking like, and I'm complaining and I'm grumpy and I'm you know, doing the, the seventh load of laundry, big freaking, <laughs> like really? Like, and I'm yeah. stomping my feet. Do you all know I did? I'm on my seventh load of laundry. Like, do I need to be telling everyone I'm on my seventh load of laundry for today? Like in all seriousness. And I think like, like you said, Brandon, until you've, you've gone through what you've gone through, like the other stuff doesn't mm. matter that we, that yeah. the, the normal average person complains about, yeah. and it's just, you know, it's yeah, like, you're Man, there's so many good things there. Um, gosh, uh, I think for those listening that that have a, a partner, um, become a noticer. Like I didn't notice all that Rachel did until she was gone and then it wasn't done, right? Like you don't realize the seven loads of laundry right. until they're not getting done, right? Like, and, and not that that's what Rachel's purpose was, was not to do my laundry and not to clean the house and not to, but those are the things that she loved doing and that's what she her you know? And so like, and then one day it all stopped and I'm, I'm looking around. I'm like, wait, like I didn't notice, like I needed to notice. I didn't appreciate, like I needed to appreciate. I didn't show up like I needed to show up. And so like, I beg you guys to just notice and be grateful and say, thank you with your whole face. Um, the other thing, Abby, when you're talking about, I, I think often about this, that homecoming for Rachel, you know, um, and uh, Macklin, you know, I don't know. It was probably a few months after Rachel died. I said, what do you, daddy, what do you think Jesus said when he saw mommy? Like, what do you think that, what do you think they talked about? And, and, you know, of course he's like, do you think, do you think she got to say hi to Samson? Cause that's like, Samson's like, you know, one of his favorites and like, you know, like, um, and like, you know, talking about all the characters in the Bible. And, you know, I said, I said, buddy, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I think, I think he probably saw mommy and said, I know you, and, not, and, and I know he knows all of us, but no, Rachel, I know you, and thank you. Thank you for, for sharing about me. Thank you for giving others hope. Thank, I know you, and I think I'd give anything for that to be my story, for the Lord, to, for, for Jesus to say, man, Brandon, I know you. You know, you, you, you lived well, you did well, and I know you. Um, and that's all I can think about that homecoming. And that's what it looked like. Um, cause he knows everyone, but like, I feel like he knew Rachel a little more. I know you, like, yeah. you did good, man. You did good. And so, um, anyway, I didn't mean to digress, but you said that. Yeah. And I was like, I think about that. I just that's, want him to know me. Yeah. That's, yes. That's so oh, great. Kindness. I saw this, I saw this graphic the other day and it said, um, something like, I hope when I get to heaven, Jesus says to me, we're so glad you're here. You're here. Do you want to come meet all the people that you brought in? Mm, come on. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be like the best thing. Right. And that's the goal. Mm -hmm. Like we're here to usher yeah. other people in. Cause it's not mm. just about us. Yeah. And I like, mean, we Rachel, should be assured of, mm. of our salvation. Yeah. Right. And so it's not about us anymore. 
Like mm. it's about our family, yeah. our kids, and then those around us. Like we should be mm. stewarding that salvation that has been that has been freely given yeah. to us. And so, like when I saw that graphic, I was like, "Heck yeah!" Like that's exactly yeah. that's exactly what I want to happen. You know, that's so good. I love that. 